Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare ham in crust from the Recoquinaria to celebrate the Saturnalia, among the most important festivities in ancient Rome. We start with the ingredients. We need ham, flour, honey, dry figs, olive oil and bay laurel leaves. First, we need the flour with olive oil and a little water. We are not using salt, but you may decide to use it depending on how salty is your ham. In ancient Rome, the Saturnalia were celebrated between the 17th and the 23rd of December, depending on the period of Roman history, and were characterized by banquets and exchange of gifts. Marshall dedicates two books of his epigrams to the short notes in verses that accompanied the gifts, which included food and beverages. M, called Perna in Latin, is mentioned among them. While the door rests, we simmer the M with the figs and three bay laurel leaves. The term used for figs is carica, which identifies a variety of figs that were dried. The cooking time can change considerably, depending not only on the size, but also on the type of M and how long it's cured. There are some descriptions of M in the ancient sources with detailed recipes. According to Varro, Gauls produced excellent succidia, a term that refers to salted meat, and in particular to pork, including hams and shoulder hams, which were salted and smoked. As Palladius recalls in his book on agriculture, the time of the year to prepare hams and salted meat is winter. Columella recommends the boning the meat and placing the pieces on tables, covered with salt and pressed under weights. The meat must be salted a few times, since in this way the liquid trickles down the table. Then the salt is removed and the meat washed with lukewarm water, then dried and hung in the larder and exposed to smoke. Otherwise the meat can be cut into pieces and placed in a barrel with salt, then preserved in its brine. Cato instead recommends alternating layers of whole pork legs and salt in a huge base. The hams must be dried in the wind, then rubbed with oil and vinegar and smoked. When the ham is cooked through, we remove the rind, score the fat with a knife and coat it with honey. The recipe is clearly meant for the whole ham, but we used just a piece. It is interesting to notice that in ancient cuisine, salted meat and fish are never eaten raw, but cooked, as we have seen in the past preparing a cured pork fatback. The custom of eating a raw meat, cured or not, is typical of the so-called barbaric populations, as we read, for example, in Antimus de Observazione Ciborum. Recipes similar to the one we are preparing today are quite common in the medieval Italian cookbooks, in which meat, fish or vegetables wrapped in crusts are called pastello or coppo in Italian or Latin. The crusts are prepared in a similar way, with flour and fats. The recipes for the lean days with fish or vegetables require a dough similar to this one, made generally with flour and olive oil. The crusts for the fat days instead are usually prepared with flour and lard, sometimes with the addition of eggs and other ingredients. We prepared two medieval pastelli in the past, one with prawns and the other with pork. You find the links in the description below. Then we roll the dough. The aim is to substitute the rind with a crust, as specified in the recipe. We need a crust not too thin, but thin enough to cook evenly and quite quickly, so that the ham doesn't dry. 
There is another term for a meat pies, artocrea, used in ancient and medieval sources. This word is actually Greek and literally means meat bread. From the scant descriptions, however, it seems quite different from the Zemin crust and more similar to medieval pizza made with meat kneaded with the dough and cooked in the oven. You find the link to the recipe for medieval pizza in the description below. To know more about ancient food, check out our book Ancient Roman Cooking and our Patreon page in which you find articles and translations of ancient and medieval sources. To know more about medieval cooking, you can also read our last book, The Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks, or Registrum Cuquine, a medieval cookbook. All the books are available on Amazon in English and Italian. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. We cook the ham with a testum, just long enough to cook the crust. Testum is an ancient portable oven that we find in historical recipes, made with clay or, in the Middle Ages, copper. It allows to bake bread and pies evenly at low heat and is particularly useful if one doesn't have a regular oven, because it can be used in a fireplace or a brazier. The author of the Racoquinaria writes to serve the ham whole. We sliced and served it with the figs, but the original recipe doesn't specify what to do with the figs. We can serve them dressed with garum and vinegar, as suggested by Galen, or with thyme, penny royal, savory, lesser calamint, oregano, pepper or ginger, as recommended by the Byzantine physician Aetius of Amida. The mixture of sweet and savory given by the saltiness of the ham and the sweetness of the figs and honey was incredibly tasty, despite the simplicity of the recipe. We recommend pairing it with Minutal Terentinum, Ofella and Placenta or Savillum to make a perfect dinner to celebrate your Saturnalia. The other recipes we prepared for the Saturnalia in the past years are laureate pork and roasted pork with saffron sauce. You find the links in the description below. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.